Michael, day out from Tom's medal race here in Weymouth. How's he feeling? He's feeling pretty good. He had a chance to go and watch the star and the fin race this afternoon and get a taste of what the, the action is going to be like on the nose. So I think to be able to absorb that excitement and action and, and then to be able to calm himself again tonight and get himself mentally prepared will be really good for him tomorrow. And yesterday with the two race wins, how much of a boost was that for him? It was a big confidence boost, a good settler for him. Uh, we had some conditions which were quite uh, windy uh, and rough, which is uh, conditions we all know he likes very much. And tomorrow's going to be probably moderate winds out of the west, probably quite shifty. So again, that should be quite nice conditions for him. And how different, different will it be on the north with all the spectators, with only 10 boats? It's, it's a big change from what he's had all week. Yeah, it is. The, there's going to be added pressure, media boats, helicopters, uh, a bit more noise and excitement. But it's stuff he's done before, and, and to have a 14-point lead is a formidable head start, and that's something he's had before as well. So he knows some of the good tactics and strategies that put him into place to excel. For the last ever, you know, for the last couple of years, all Tom's spoken about is winning gold, and you know, it's within um, reach for him now. What would it mean for him? It means putting to bed the demons of Beijing, basically. The, the big failure when he went in as the favourite on paper and came away with the 22nd or something like that. So it's been something he's worked toward since two weeks after the last Olympics. He's worked hard, especially on his light wind skills, and he's gained a lot of confidence in that area, but also in his mental toughness to round out a whole competition. And he's spoken a lot about um, you know, the, the, uh, how much you've helped him to get to this stage. How much personal satisfaction would you have to see Tommy on the top step tomorrow? I'd be very proud. Uh, personally, I've sailed a lot with Tom over the past 10 years, both as training partners and now as coach athlete, so nothing would please me more than seeing him on the gold medal dice. And uh, it's, you know, he can, he, the worst he can do tomorrow is silver, so it is himself and um, the Cypriot for who's going to be on top. He's been in a similar situation like that before in the 2006 Worlds, and it was yourself who kept it away from him, so he does have that experience from what could happen if it goes wrong? He does. Uh, I think that one went right, actually, because I won that one, so that wasn't so bad. But he does have a 14-point lead, so the Cypriot can win and he can finish seventh and he'll still win the gold, or two and eight and three and nine and so on. So there's uh, it's, uh, you know, a good advantage that he's got going into it. And how, finally, how are you going to be feeling tomorrow during the medal race? Uh, probably be a little, little excited, a little nervous, a little anxious. Uh, it's hard for us to see exactly what's going on from behind the, in the coach boat zone, so... Uh, I'll certainly be following very closely through my binoculars.